starting a new cooking series, just showing all these things that I either hunt for, raise, crab, or whatever, um, you know, and what I'm doing as far as turning them into to meals. So, anyway, uh, this one is a stuffed meatloaf that's bacon wrapped, and I kind of show you the, everything that's going in there, and then kind of walk you through how I make it. So, there's a pound and a half of ground pork, uh, one pound of ground elk, a package of bacon, uh, that is some brie cheese. You can use any kind of cheese. The brie is nice because it doesn't melt out as fast as, like, say, an American or processed cheese. But anyway, uh, spices would be some garlic, basil. Um, I use that Mrs. Dash. It's one of the few store-bought spices that I actually like. But anyway, uh, all of those are a tablespoon. It's pretty straightforward. A tablespoon of salt. Two cups of breadcrumbs. So that's panko. But you can use whatever you got. And three eggs. So... Out of this whole meal, the only thing that's really, like I said, come from the store is obviously the cheese and a little bit of the spices everything else. Uh, maybe they're raised or I've hunted. So, anyway, we're going to get these all mixed together and kind of show you what it looks like when, when it's all put together. Okay, so we've got our meat out of the package. Uh, basically just dumped in the bowl. Got all of our spices measured out. Add those. And the black pepper. That's kind of a preference thing. If you don't want it real spicy, don't put as much pepper in it. But and your two cups of breadcrumbs. Get those guys rolling away. And your three eggs. Mix. Okay, so with just a clean hand, you just get in here and work this all together. You really just want to kind of work through as evenly as possible. And then we'll move on to the next step. After a couple of minutes of kneading, kind of all comes together and uh, thoroughly mixed and we're getting ready to uh, move on to make it into a loaf. So you want to take a cookie sheet and take some plastic wrap and put a layer down. This is going to make it so you can actually roll this after you've stuffed it. Um, anyway, we'll get the meat out on here and press it out flat. Alright, so add the meat and just press it out flat. It'll be pretty thin when you get done, but the, the nice thing about uh, the cookie sheet, it kind of works as a mold for you. So just keep working all the way to the edges. So it's all pressed out, got it right up to all the edges. And we're going to start adding the brie. This is kind of a cr cream brie, so it's a little bit softer. Uh, you could use regular, uh, the more solid kind. You just want to take some of the rind off. Anyway, we're going to get this uh, little blobs put all out this before we start rolling. So the breeze all added. Uh, you don't want to go all the way to the end of it because otherwise it will just gush out. So I leave the last, I don't know, is it three inches with no cheese on it. And we're going to start rolling this thing up. Okay, the next step is we're going to do the rolling process. And you kind of just use your saran wrap to keep tucking and rolling keeping your ends rolled in straight. Go all the way down to the end here and you'll have yourself a loaf. And there you go. Um, now I'm going to take this log and get it uh, into the freezer for about an hour. Just let that kind of firm up and then we're going to bacon wrap it. So about an hour and a half has gone by, and this thing has it's not frozen, but it's firmed up. Uh, that'll just make it easier to, to roll around so it doesn't fall apart when we're putting the bacon around it. Uh, the only other thing I did uh, is grab some skewers, because I'm going to use that to attach my bacon. And I'm soaking them in water so they're not as flammable. And one other thing, right before I put it in the freezer, I kind of crimped down both of the ends. That'll keep, hopefully, our stuffing 
in there when it's cooking. So we're moving on to wrapping the bacon on it. Okay, so as uh, I'm going around, just taking these skewers, and I'm kind of marrying up the last piece with the next piece coming through. I'm trying to keep them all kind of on one side. So the next one goes on there, and our skewer can go through both both pieces to hold it in place. And with it being kind of frozen, it makes it a lot easier at this stage to be able to pick it up without it breaking on you. But we'll wrap this up and I'll kind of show you what it looks like when it's all done. Now I'm in the last piece. And on this last one, I'm going to make a full wrap on it. Since there won't be a next piece. And then I'm going to come back here and just clip off all my little skewers just so I don't have them hopefully catching on fire. I'll leave enough that I can pluck them out at the end. Okay, ready for the barbecue. Well, there was one piece of bacon left, so I decided to put it across the top. It looked pretty lonely sitting over there by itself. So, yeah, I'm going to get the barbecue turned on and uh, start this guy cooking. Okay, she's on the barbecue. Just got her on there. Uh, you could do this in the oven to 350, probably about an hour. But I uh, figured I'd try it this way, uh, just because it's hot today and I don't want to turn the oven on. But uh, I've only got two burners on, they're on about medium, and it should take uh, probably about the same time, about an hour out here too. So we'll uh, take a look at her as she gets done. So it's been about a half an hour, and it is looking awesome. Getting some drippage, but no massive uh, fireball yet, which is what we're looking for. So, um, looking good. I'll catch up on it in a little bit. So we're getting close. I sprung a little bit of a cheese leak down here on the end, and I made myself a temporary dam of foil. I haven't had one of these a week before, but I lost a little bit of the cheese, but not 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 too much. So I think I caught it in time. Let's see if that works. It should. Um, but we're almost there. Okay, end product turned out. I uh, managed to get it all cooked without uh, creating a huge fire, which is added bonus. But uh, time to dig in. So as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.